welcome to the final entry in the Friday the 13th reviews. We made it. We have made it through the Shout Factory box set. We've had some laughs. We've had some anger. We've had some crying. Maybe not crying, but anger. So, today I'm going to rank them with 11 being the worst, 1 being the best. So, which one do I think is the worst? Friday the 13th, Part 1. My dad worked at a cinema, at a drive-in, and actually at theaters. He was a projectionist. He told me the most, the worst thing a movie can be is boring. That is the original to me. So, this may... People may not like this or agree with this, but this is one of the most boring films. There are some creative kills, but I this movie is, what, an hour and a half? Okay, so it's 94 minutes. It's, it's a little over an hour and a half, but it is, it is boring to me. I cannot watch the original and stay awake half the time. I, I'm just not a fan of the original. The one thing I do like, I like the twist at the end, but that's about it. Number 10. Friday the 13th, Part 2. So, Part 2, I'm not a huge fan of for the same reasons. This one, I've had a hard time watching, and I've fallen asleep during numerous times as well. For whatever reason... I cannot get into the first two Fridays. And keep in mind, this is just my, my preferences. So, these are the worst two. Now we're going to get into some that, well, some more that people may not agree with me with. Number nine. This one people might agree with me more on. This is Jason Takes Manhattan. I do not like Jason Takes Manhattan. I've said reasons why um, in that review. But as a refresher, it felt like a made-for-TV movie if you take out the nudity, because there's barely any gore. People get killed, but you don't see, like, blood or guts or anything. And on top of that, it is false advertising. If... This may be me, but if they would have called it Friday the 13th, Part 8, Jason Takes a Boat, I might have liked it more. I, I really think if it would be a boat, my expectations would not be so high for it to be Manhattan. But when I first saw this, I thought that's what, what it was going to be, was Jason in New York. He goes to Broadway, kills people, he goes to... Well, I guess it wasn't Broadway. He'd go to a grindhouse trail, grindhouse theater, and some dude's taking a leap, boom, stabbed right in the eye. Something like that. Yes, I know that happened in one of the screen films, but you get my drift. So, number nine. Friday the 13th, part eight, Jason Takes Manhattan. I'd say stay away from this one. Number 8, Friday the 13th, The New Blood, Jason vs. Carrie. This one, it's very similar to the remake for me. I've seen this several times, but I don't remember a whole heck of a lot other than the ending, and I don't really like the ending. Telekinesis versus an undead zombie, basically. Yeah, it... It just didn't grab me. So, number eight is The New Blood. Which is part seven. Number seven. Friday the 13th, part five, A New Beginning. Now, for a while, I started to like this. And I'm like, oh, people are missing... <coughs> People are missing out with this. 
after rewatching it, other than having a lot more nudity than most Friday the Thirteenth, no, I'm not. I'm not a huge fan of this. Plus, the kid that gets killed in the beginning, I've mentioned this before. I'm pretty sure he had a type of disability, and that does not sit well with me when someone gets that angry with someone with a disability. So yeah, skip this. I can't remember if I said, but number six. Number six, Friday the 13th, the remake. This one is number six, not because of how good it is or how bad it is, because it is legit middle of the road. There is, I couldn't find many pros about it, but at the same time, there's not really a whole lot of cons. I mean, I counted a few, but there's just not much to say about it. And at least it's not boring, so this is middle of the road. So, now we are coming up on my favorite ones. So, number, number five. Friday the 13th, the final chapter. This one has been a favorite for a long, one of my favorites for a long time. Um, Corey Feldman as Tommy Jarvis does a really good job. And this is probably one of them that I've seen the most of. Again, as I mentioned in my reviews, not the one I have seen the most. But this is a lot of fun. This is the one that when I want to have, when I want to watch Friday the 13th, this is one of them that I usually suggest. So, number four. Number four, Friday the 13th, part three in 3D. That's not going to do anything. So, part three, I've had a lot of fun with. It was the first ever Friday the 13th DVD I owned. Um, then when it came out on Blu-ray, the first ever Friday the 13th Blu-ray I owned. It's I find this to be a lot of fun. I really don't like the character of Shelly, but, you know, you're not going to like every character. This was, this is still a lot of fun, and just a lot of cheese. I like the biker gang, I like the juggling, I like the forced 3D, and when you don't have a 3D player, it makes it hysterical just to see this all in 2D. So yeah, number four is Friday the 13th, part three, in 3D. Number three. Friday the 13th, Part 7. 6. Part 6. Apologies. Now, Friday the 13th, Part 6. This one is the one that airs the most on sci-fi, and as a kid I hated it. As an adult, I think it's hysterical. This might be 
the funniest Friday the 13th movie. And I know to some people that's not a good thing, but to me it's a nice change of pace. You have Ron Polillo, you have Lightning bringing Jason back to life, a la Frankenstein's monster. You have uh, Tom Matthews as Tommy Jarvis. So, yeah, this one is a lot of fun. You have, like, a credit card in a pool of blood. You have smiley faces when Jason kills somebody. So, yeah, it's... It's a lot of fun. This one, it's not my favorite, although I, although I do recommend watching this one every chance I get. And the funny part is, is this is the one that probably has, or this one does have zero nudity. And I really, really enjoy it. Plus, this has the song, He's Back, The Man Behind the Mask in it. Number two, Jason Goes to Hell. That's right, number two on my list is Jason Goes to Hell. I have a lot of fun with this one. Maybe it's seen a younger Leslie Jordan. Maybe it's because this is one of them I also would try to rent as a kid. Wasn't allowed to. And this one I remember also hearing while I was really young in the theater uh, when I was going to the bathroom. But I would run out screaming because I did not like it. Or I did not like what I was hearing. So, yeah. Jason Goes to Hell is a lot of fun. I do recommend the unrated version. But be warned, there is just as many boobs as there is a few penises. So, this is a fun one, if you don't mind Jason not being Jason. So, yes, this is the one where he's basically the little worm thing. But you know what? It's different, and it's fun. Which can't be said for a lot of, a lot of films or franchises that try something different. Number one. And my number one is, by process of elimination, you should have been able to figure it out, Jason X. This is my favorite movie. I recommend, I want to watch this whenever I watch a Jason film. Because it's a sci-fi spectacle. This one is a lot of fun. There are, there are nanites, there's Uber Jason, and since I just did the review of it not that long ago, go back and watch that. But, no. This one, I, I, I am more up and willing to watch Jason X and Jason Goes to Hell than any of the others. So, that is my ranking of the Friday the 13th franchise. Um, what's next? Well... Next, we go back and we finish A Nightmare on Elm Street. So, we left off, I believe, at Dream Warriors. I will double check that and see where we left off, and we will pick up from there. And then you may ask, well, what do you do when the Nightmare Box set is over? Then we jump back, we jump back all the way back to the Al Adamson box set. So, then after the Adamson box, there may be an announcement coming of what's coming up. Um, after that Adamson box, I will let everybody know now. After that Adamson box, I am planning on switching release schedules instead of every week to every other week. So, but that's, that's still several movies from now. So, thank you for watching. Remember to stay spooky, stay scary, take care, and I will see you next time.